Hey everybody. So this is a new pattern. Um, cutting them out. Uh, let me show you the pattern real quick. Okay, here we go. So there's two sides. All right, there's the A side and the B side uh, for this. This is the a Japanese knot bag, and but this one's gonna be leather. And there's a lot of uh, tutorials out there around the around the cloth ones, but I wanted to do one in leather. I think that'd be pretty cool. And this one, um, not only did I do it twice with the A and B, but I also did two A's and two B's because I wanted uh, this one to have an interior that was different color than the exterior. And it doesn't mean that you can, it's reversible. This one's, it's not going to be reversible. Uh, although I guess, I guess you could, if you wanted to, but, uh, I'm not making it that way. So, what I did first was, um, you take the two, uh, you know, the, the inside and the outside of, of, you know, either A or B, and then you stitch, you're just going to stitch, uh, the inside and then the outside of the handles, because these, once you, once we're here, we're going to sew the, these together. So these need to be open. And then, of course, you know, this needs to be open here so that you can put stuff in the bag, right? And so what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm, I'm sewing it inside out, kind of like a tote bag, where you sew it inside out and then you reverse it, right? So this blue is actually going to be on the inside of the bag and this uh, you know, lighter brown is going to be the outside, right? So, like I said, um, you're going to do, after you stitch... You know, like I've done here, side, inside, and outside here um, for both of these, right? So here's the other one. Got this line, got the inside here, and then the outside here. Uh, I didn't go all the way to the top because this this is you're gonna be stitching this inside out right now. Uh, so for those both of those, you don't go. All the way to the top got it okay so what I'm gonna do now is, is pretty simple I'm gonna do these at the top I'm gonna stitch all four layers together there and there and I'm gonna start here go all the way around and just stitching all four all four together and then once I do, that's done I'll show you how it looks but once that's done, you're really just going to turn it inside out, and that's it. Um, very similar to, I mean, just like a regular Japanese knot bag. But uh, I wanted to show you this uh, because the, the leather I have is actually really lightweight. It's probably a two or three ounce uh, kind of floppy, and both of them are like that. So uh, I wanted, I didn't want to make one. You can if you want to, I guess, uh, with uh, you know a little bit thicker. But you want something that's really flexible, kind of like that. The the hobo bag I did last time, uh, this would have worked really well with that leather that was a little bit thicker, but definitely very soft temper. Uh, really kind of a little bit stretchy, uh, would have been per would be perfect with this. But uh, I have these and I like the color combination and they're thin enough that once I put this together, uh, I think it's gonna come out really nice. Okay, so I'll be right back and show you how this looks after I get the outside and the two tops done. Okay. Okay, so I finished the uh, the sewing here and the stitching uh, around the the outside edge there, and I went ahead and I, I trimmed uh, this. What I'm I originally had planned this for to be the interior, right? Um, and I'll I'll fold it in and out here in a second. But I was so I went ahead though and and cleaned up the edges, trimmed those, sanded them down, and. Uh, beveled and burnished uh burnished that inside edge um you can see so it's, it's nice and smooth and when i was done i was like you know this is actually isn't too bad if you, if you wanted to use it inside out so like the, as this is the outside this actually looked, looked pretty nice uh i originally hadn't thought about making it reversible but if you do it this way and make make the edges nice and clean like this you could totally get away with making this a reversible and have the, you know, the inside is the, is the, the brown and then the, uh, yeah. And then the, the inside is the blue. 
Uh, yeah, totally reversible. All right, uh, let me get this uh, flipped inside out and show you how it looks, and then we'll uh, get some more pictures. All right. Okay, here it is. Well, it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, you can see the, the darker stitching that I used. Uh, they're, they're near the beginning to just make sure this is uh, you know, attached to the, the interior lining. But uh, yeah, it came out really nice. Here's the other side. Um, it kind of has that rustic feel, but it's wrinkly. Uh, so this will this will be perfect for a knot back because you're just gonna loop this in through here out the other side, and then that's your handle. Uh, so if this gets wrinkled, it's it's just gonna add more character, especially with this 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 kind of leather that I have here. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take some pictures of this. Um, hopefully, get somebody to model it for me and uh, show you how it looks with with stuff inside the bag. Uh, you're right, it's because uh, you know actual a real use uh pictures all right see you in a minute okay so uh here it is folded up uh, i put a i put a bag of uh about a dozen pairs uh, since we have a we have a pear tree that's just full of them, so I uh, put a bag of a dozen pears in there just so you can kind of see the see uh, kind of how it how it lays out uh, with something in it. All right, cool. Uh, next will be some pictures of in you know somebody holding it. <laughs>